नमस्ते पीयूष शर्मा जी पीयूष शर्मा इज ए स्ट्रक्चरल इंजीनियर हु इज वर्किंग ऑन बैम्बू कंस्ट्रक्शन इन इंडिया बैम्बू कंस्ट्रक्शन इन इंडिया इज ए न्यूली पिकिंग अप फील्ड एंड आई थिंक इज वन ऑफ द पायोनियर्स हु हैज डन ए वेरी आर्किटेक्चरली ब्यूटिफुल स्ट्रक्चर्स आउट ऑफ बैम्बू इन इंडिया सो वी हैव सम क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग द चॉइस ऑफ बैम्बू एंड द स्ट्रेंथ एंड विच वन ही वुड प्रिफर एंड ऑल दैट सो शर्मा जी वॉट इज योर करेंट एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ मेकिंग बैम्बू स्ट्रक्चर विच स्पीशीज यू हैव चोजन एंड वॉट वुड हैव बिन द आइडियल स्पीशीज एंड वॉट वॉज दफ यू फेस्ड एनी प्रॉब्लम इन योर करेंट चॉइस हाउ वुड यू वॉन्ट टू सर कमेंट दैट इन द फ्यूचर या आई मीन आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू मेक वन क्लैरिफिकेशन हेयर the one big difference in bamboo structure uh, vis a vis uh, ordinary buildings that we see uh, in uh, bamboo structures actually uh, your uh, the structural f- uh, form of the building is also the basically the the structure and architecture kind of merges together unlike in uh, conventional constructions where the structure is built and then you clad it with walls from outside and uh, you give a, you basically the idea is to hide the structure here you don't hide we are not trying to hide the structure the structure itself is the uh, the the architectural uh, brings in the architectural element to the overall building so uh, that is one and uh, yeah regarding your uh, question on uh, species uh, primarily right now uh, we are using bambusa bolkua uh it is it grows extensively along the foothills of uh, himalayas and in northeast it is available pretty much everywhere um it uh, grows it is a thorny b- bamboo lot of thorns oh it is a thorny thorny one yes yes so in fact the age of the bamboo you can uh, figure out from uh, the 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 how much thorns have appeared from the nodes that gives you an idea about how old it is uh the length the height of it grows up to a height of 35 to 40 feet uh, uh not very straight very bendy mm. since it grows in culms very close to one another mm. maybe I, i could be wrong uh, an expert in botany could maybe correct me here uh, it grew, because of its need to reach to the sun correct. it probably takes all kinds of shapes so uh, that becomes a problem uh, for people like us who are ro- looking for somewhat straighter yeah. poles or single curve poles uh, uh, so that was one disadvantage we were, we had to face while using bolkua the other being when because this was a structure which was uh, it had a height of almost 40 feet so there was no way we could have done this without doing the structural the load do uh, you know the testing of the poles we had to ascertain the compressive strength the shear strength and the uh, the the bending capacity of the poles so in pretty much all the tests the poles uh, you know fitted our into our requirement the one area where it failed was the shear the shear strength anyway in bamboo the shear strength is low shear by shear shear by shear i mean uh, basically when if i take a knife if i have a small bamboo piece with me i take a knife and i apply that knife along the fibers it will shear easily through it correct so that's what i mean by shear uh, unlike uh, if i try and compress it uh, if i'm up, uh, bamboo works great when you are applying force either along the pole or away from you know when uh, the axial strength Correct. along the axis of the pole there in compression and in tension it is a great material so as a structural engineer the challenge is how do you minimize the bending and uh, have more of axial uh, forces on the poles that is what uh, will uh, allow you to go taller or uh, g- you know grow, uh, the have uh, greater spans uh, so that was one disadvantage and uh, this is uh, and uh, th- this is where guadua and asper there is one species called dendrocalamus asper which grows uh, uh, in certain parts of arunachal pradesh in india and in southeast asia it is very uh, easily available that and the other being guadua which uh, you are growing here These guadua are two, is supposed to be the strongest, right? Guadua and asper both. They mm-hmm. are amongst the most. Uh, I mean, uh, from whatever research that has been done so far on the uh, structural capacities of these species, they have been. They have performed. Uh, their performance is definitely superior to the other species. Yeah. 
so would you like to switch to guadwa in future oh yes 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 so uh, another point i want to highlight here is the uh, one of the major drawbacks in bamboo picking up as a construction as an alternate construction material is the uh, lack of uh, organized plantations mm. or lack of awareness among farmers or uh, you know there is this uh, how, how do i say the there is a big uh, gap Chicken between there, there's a disconnect between people using it on the field and the people growing it uh, i think that is where uh, people like uh, you and people like us can uh, come together and uh, you know we can uh, fill up those uh, gaps you yeah. know so uh, those organized plantations which uh, exists in uh, many of these other countries like mexico and indonesia mm. that we don't have here mm. and uh, unlike in a conventional construction you can simply call up the supplier i want this many bags of cement and steel the next day it arrives on your site in bamboo it's not like that it you need 2 to 3 months just to prepare the material correct uh and that becomes even more tedious because you have to go hunting for the poles i cannot rely on my supplier to give me what i need correct he doesn't know what i need i have to myself go uh, scouting for it so uh, that's that's one of the major disadvantages yes right 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 um so yeah Uh, i think in the next 10 years uh, a lot of bamboo plantations are happening already like yeah. i know because people contact me on and off yeah so the the availability will increase many fold and i hope the use also increases so that uh, the demand and supply m- makes a balance right right mm, so so thank you thanks a lot uh, thank you for your input on bamboo construction thank you